I, so this is a trig ratios pack. Uh, it's three lessons long. We'll do vids for this bit. We won't do vids for lesson two, so I'm a bit glad about that. And we'll do vids for this bit here, okay? So you get a, a night off of videos. How nice is that? It's like a luxury. So uh, the first bit is just a reminder. There's a, it's a recap about like the GCSE trig stuff. So hopefully you can see that. If I just put it on full, you can just quickly copy that down. There you go. I can't just pause it, can't you? Look at the next page. So this is more stuff about the, the cosine rule and the sine rule. So hopefully you spent quite a lot of time doing sine rule and cosine rule in school. But here are your equations. I always work on the assumption that you did absolutely shed loads of these, so it's not that bad. Okay. Right, there's another one there for you to have a go at where you use the sine rule because you know they're opposite each other and they're opposite each other. Then there's a question where you're using the cosine rule. With the cosine rule, I always think it's nice that it's the two sides and the angle it creates. They're all on the same side. And the one that's on its own is the one opposite the angle. So it's worth remembering that for the cosine rule. Right then, so this is our proper first lesson then. The ambiguous case. I've never ever seen this come up really on papers, but there you go. It fits, right, so it talks about acute and obtuse angles. So if you do some maths and you got x is 45 degrees out, then we know that that's acute. If it asks for obtuse, Just do 180, take away the angle. So it's 135 degrees there. Right, so that's pretty much it, really. <coughs> the idea is that I can have this triangle from A to B to C, point B1, and I could also have this triangle from A to B to C, point B2. Um, uh, just hang on, I'm just recording. Um, I think we have to find somewhere else to do some recording. I think if people keep coming in because they're using it for their, it's supposed to be used as a room. But I only teach in free rooms, and all them free rooms are being used for dinner. Right. So example one says we've got a triangle from A to B to C. So A B is four. A C is three. Um, and I want the two possible values, so I could have A to C being there for free, or A to C being there for free. There. And it wants the two possible values of the angles from A to C to B. So I'm looking at those two angles there, which add up to 180. So if you find one, you found the other. Right then. So I know that B is 44, don't I? There. So if I do the sine rule, then sine C over 4 is sine 44 over 3. And then I can rearrange it, so sine C is 4 times sine 44 over 3. So C is the inverse sine 4 sine 44 over 3. Now, what's important is this is in degrees and not radians. And your calculator is pretty much set to doing degrees. Somebody else going to come in? No, we're not. That's good. Right. Back again, I put the, um, the, the, the calculator on. Now, you might look, look at the, you can't really tell on this, but on the up top bar, it, say, it says RAD on this. So it says RAD for radians. If you do shift, and menu and go down to where it says angle do F1 to change that into deg there because that's what you want so now I'm going to do shift sign open brackets I'm going to write exactly what I see so 4 sign 44 over 3 there 
and C gives you 67.9 degrees. So that's one angle. So the other angle is just 180. Take away 67.9 degrees. And that gives you 112.1 degrees. And that, that's literally it for the ambiguous case. Proper random. Right, let's get on the next page. So we've got a problem solving question to do with trig. So you've done these at school. Now what I do when before I start these questions is I always extend my north lines there and put on any angles that I might know. So if that's 110, I know that that one's going to be 70. If I know that this one's 30, I know that that one's going to be 30. There. So that's quite nice. So I kind of already know, before I even get started, I know that angle already now to be 100. So that's helpful to me. Right, so it says, find the distance that the lifeboat has to travel to get back from A to C. So if you look up for part one, I've just got a triangle. And because I know that that angle B now is 100, and I know that from A to B is 15, and B to C is 27, because I've got the two sides and the angle it creates, it's a nice, easy cosine rule. So this is the one that I want, and it's opposite the angle. So A to C squared is 15 squared plus 27 squared minus 2 times 15 times 27 times cos of 100 degrees. So A to C squared is, let's just put it on the card. So 15 squared plus 27 squared minus 2 times 15 times 27 times cos of 100. So AC squared is 1094.66. So if I square root it, so shift and square root, shift and ans, it gets me 33.1. 33.1 kilometres. Let's go to that minute. AC. So that's part one done. Part two, so I'm putting 33.1 on there now. Part two says find the bearing on which the lifeboat has to travel from C to get back to A. So with bearings, remember you go from north, and I'm going to go around that way. Right, so, oh, got another one going, haven't I? That's got to be 70. There. So if I find this angle and add this onto the 70 and then take them away from 360, I've got my bearing. So I want to find the angle from B to C to A. So part two. Right, so what can I do? What can I do? I could do sine rule, can't I? I've got, I've got my triangle, so the information I need is I want C. I've got 15, I know that's 100, I know that's 33.1, let me move that down a bit more. So I've got sine rule, so sine C over 15 is sine 100 over 33.1, so C is the inverse sine of 15 lots of sine 100 over 33.1. Do I need to do that on my calculator? Let's do that then. So shift sign, open your brackets, 15 sine 100 over 33.1. So C is 26.5 degrees. Let's go back up to that picture. So I know that that's 26.5. Put it in there really small. So the ones I know, 70 plus 26.5, uh, which gives me what 96.5. So the bearing is 360 take away 96.5, which is uh, what's that going to be? 263.5. So I guess 264 degrees because we tend to go 360. Three, three numbers don't be for an angle. Although if you were one degree out and you were aiming for France, you'd probably end up in Spain. So, there you go. So that's part two done. 
So now it says 